Our guy Lamar Jackson turned down a deal so he could focus. Team, keep it clean. What's going on, baby? Hope y'all doing really, 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 really good. No, no, no not good. I hope y'all doing great. Now, <laughs> I wish I was in a position. To <laughs> I wish I was in a position to be turning down Netflix deals. Because Netflix hit me, well, depending on what it would be. I wouldn't just accept anything. But Netflix hit me up like nine times out of ten. Hey, let's talk. Let's get this thing done, baby. But it would all depend on a lot of the contract and stuff like that. I have to review all the, the terms and conditions and whatnot. But anyway, Lamar Jackson. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have seen uh, Quarterback, the Netflix uh, series about the quarterbacks. Uh, this first season, it featured Patrick Mahomes. It featured Kirk Cousins. It featured Marcus Mariota. <laughs> they threw him in there. Like, oh, okay. Hey, I, I ain't mad at it, though. Because I, I appreciate seeing these different levels of quarterbacks, just seeing their journey, seeing the background story, seeing the behind-the-scenes stuff. It's different. It's different. It's, it's cool. It's different. But it is, uh, it is a lot. Uh, it is a lot to be walking around with the cameras on you. Because the camera's already on these guys a lot already. Um, even without them having their own show, but you have you on this Netflix show too. Whew. You got the camera just stay, they stuck on you. Now I've only watched an episode and a half, and I thought that okay, it's a Netflix series about the quarterbacks. It's probably gonna be like two, three episodes. Nope, I, I was wrong. I think it's like eight, nine episodes long. So I'm only a, a episode and a half in. So far, so good. So it's, it's cool. It ain't like oh my goodness, I gotta hurry and watch the next episode. As you can tell, because I'm only one and a half episodes in. But it's cool. It's something that's it's something that's different. It reminds me of a um a more variety version of Hard Knocks. Like Hard Knocks, they focus on one team. That's a lot of different guys. They, they, they take the camera out on some different people. They, they'll have some, some guys where they focus on a bit more and whatnot. Usually like the star players and whatnot. And some like bubble players they'll focus on too. Um, and then just to watch their journey, see if they make the team, see if they don't. But this is focused just, just on these three quarterbacks. Uh, and they have uh, approached quite a few different people about it. But they, I guess they recently approached Lamar Jackson. And Jeff Zrebic let us know Lamar Jackson's answer. Uh, he said Lamar Jackson said Netflix reached out to him about their quarterback series and he was appreciative. So Lamar's like, oh, this is great. This is nice. Thank you. But no, uh, said, but he's focusing on ball right now. And I, I, I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. I know a lot of people have turned it down. Jalen Hurts turned it down. Tua turned it down. Um, it is a long list because I've been reading. Like I, I remember just a little less than a week ago, there was these reports that just come, came, kept coming out of all these different quarterbacks that were just turning it down, turning it down, turning it down. Uh, so I guess you, you got to throw Lamar Jackson's name on that list too. Tua, I believe it was Tua. I'm like 99.9% sure it was Tua who said it. But um, Tua said the reason that he turned it down was because he just he didn't want the camera he, he, he just didn't want to, he, he wanted, he did, it, it was too much camera time. It's too much camera time into his personal life and then the personal life of other people as well. So he said he didn't want that. And I get it. I get it. The, I guess two was just like, look, I want football to have its place and I, I want my personal life to have its place as well. And, and I respect that, uh, respect to it for that because that's real right there. You don't want to just always be mixing uh business and personal or whatnot you, you, you want to keep those two separate so shout out to Tua for that and with Lamar him just wanting to focus I get it because this is a um I mean every year is a huge year for Lamar every year is a huge year for every single player uh but certainly this year uh with Lamar Jackson with uh the, the weapons that he has at his disposal now um just learning a new offense uh just getting acclimated with the guys building chemistry with his teammates that's all super super important stuff uh and he is obviously taking that seriously as you all have seen um but we'll continue to take it seriously because this is of the essence he just got paid i'm sure he's wanted to shut a lot of people up uh because we'll continue to shut a lot of people up um he's looking to have a bounce back here i mean he was doing good last year but then he ended up getting hurt and that was that um so it's just a lot going on right now but I get it. I get it. I, it would have been cool to see Lamar but behind the scenes and stuff with the cameras rolling around and whatnot, even though he's like the, the same person. He's like super like just a normal dude, man. He's just really a normal dude. He ain't uh like, I don't even know how to explain it. He's just a regular person, man. Again, every time you done met him, he regular person. Joking, talking, laughing, all that good. Regular person. Regular person. 
Not no flashy person, not no show off person, not no arrogant person, not no cocky person, not just a regular person, man. So that's um, it, it makes you appreciate him uh, even more. Uh, very approachable, always willing to talk, just super cool. And I'm sure plenty of y'all that have met him before, y'all know. Um, so with the cameras and stuff, I it'd probably just make it weird. Like can like again, it's already enough cameras on him already, but to have additional even more can on top of what's already especially him with, be, with him being Lamar Jackson oh like you know he he's a very private person too so for a private person to have cameras following them around 24/7 like that oof yeah that's tough so Lamar we ain't mad at you get get your privacy on enjoy your private life but it's like it's funny because all these quarterbacks <laughs> they, they've been turning it down so many quarterbacks been turned. I ain't heard not one quarterback who has accepted it. Even J Justin Fields, he was another one on the list that turned it down. So many quarterbacks have been turned. They gonna have to change the show to running backs or wide receivers or something. They ain't gonna be able to call it quarterbacks no more because everybody been saying no, 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 no. I wonder if maybe there was a, the episode or something that I haven't seen yet that just a lot of these quarterbacks or players don't like. Maybe they painted a bad picture. They whether it be Mahomes or Kirk Cousins or. or uh, Mariota, maybe they painted them in a bad in a bad light. I don't know what it was, but all all these quarterbacks have been like a lot of quarterbacks have been saying no. So I, I wonder what it is. Like why? Like and it's it's the same way. I don't know. Maybe, maybe uh I know some of them actors are on strike right now. I wonder if uh maybe some of these these NFL players they trying to go on strike too. They they trying to go on strike from uh getting getting recorded, having these these cameras in their face even more than they already are. Cause you know how a lot of these quarterbacks have been turning down this Netflix series, but uh, a, a bunch of teams they were turning down hard knocks earlier. Nobody want to do hard knocks. Jets ain't want to do it either. But NFL was like, look, we own y'all. <laughs> we, we own y'all. So Jets, you ain't got a choice. So now Jets locked in doing hard knocks. So maybe uh, I, I don't know what it is, man. Why everybody everybody been saying no? So I wonder who's gonna say yes. And when somebody does say yes. I know it'd be, it'd be a little bit funny because they're going to be looked at like, oh, yeah, you, you're just getting the leftovers. You're only getting it because everybody turned it down. It's like them super, super alternates to the Pro Bowl. I know a lot of people feel like, oh, man, yeah, you, you're just getting it because everybody turned like everybody turned it down. But let's see. We'll see how it goes, man. It, it, it'll still be cool. Whoever ends up accepting it, it'll be neat to see them in a different light. It's always neat, too. What I appreciate about a lot of those shows, like stuff like that, um, where you get a behind the scenes with a player. Um, I, I like to, I like when they, I like how they mix it up, uh, because I like how if, if it's a player that's really popular or whatnot, you're gonna see the behind the scenes. Oh, how are they and whatnot? Even though the cameras, they could lie possibly, because those those shows are obviously edited and whatnot. You can't put all the footage in there. Um, but it's also nice to get to see a different side of a player who you may not know, or who you may not know as much. But either way, Lamar, who we all do know, he ain't going to be doing the show. And Lamar said, Netflix, hey, I love y'all. I appreciate the opportunity, but mm, I'm out. 